What's going on guys? John Elder here from GoToMe.com and in this video, we're going to remove all the records from the database for our tree-based app with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to remove all the records from our tree-based app from the database. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so moving right along with our tree base app here. In this video, we want to remove all the records. And we've already got this remove all records button. When we click it, it removes all the records from the tree base, but it's not removing them from the database itself. So for instance, we can come back over here, run this guy again, and when we do, all the records are still there. So we want to actually remove these things from the database. So when we restart it, there's nothing in there. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's go ahead and close this. Before we do anything, I'm going to head over to a Windows Explorer and navigate to our C GUI directory. This is where we've been working forever. And you come down here and see this tree underscore CRM. That's our database, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click copy and then right click and click paste. And this is just going to paste in a copy of our database. So we're going to be deleting the database in this video. And I don't really want to delete all the records from our database. So I'm just going to back it up just like that. And that's a quick and easy way you can do that. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kinter playlist with almost 200 other Kinter videos. So if you haven't checked that out yet, go ahead and take a look at that. So we've got our treebase.py file that we've been working on in the last few videos. And if we come down here to the bottom, we see we have this remove one button and then remove all. And if we go to the end of this, we see it's calling this remove all function. So that's where we want to be working at in this video. So let's head up here and let's find that function and select remove all. And we can see this is what we've already got there. This will remove the stuff from the tree view itself, but it's not, like I said, deleting anything from the database. So anytime we're dealing with a database, as we've learned in the last few videos, we need to connect to the database, create a cursor, commit our changes, and then close that connection. So I'm going to come down here to the previous stuff we did. And let's just copy that stuff. So here we go. Uh, da, 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 we can copy all of this. And I'm going to bring it up here to our remove all function. And inside of here, I'm just going to paste it. Now we don't need this stuff. And we don't need this stuff. We're going to actually delete everything from the table right here. So of course, here we're connecting to our database. This is the tree underscore CRM dot DB database. That's the thing we just backed up, right? So we're connecting to it. We're creating a cursor. We're going to do something right here. Then we're going to commit those changes and then close our connection as always. And when we're done with this, let's go ahead and clear the entries as well, just in case we've clicked on one of those things. So, you know, remember if we come up here, run this again, say we click on one of these, see all these boxes are filled. After we click this button, we want all of this stuff to be removed as well, right? So let's just go ahead and call this like that. Uh, say clear entry boxes if filled, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So, okay, now how do we actually delete everything from the table? Well, we could sort of get all the IDs, loop through the entire table, delete every ID one at a time, but that's sort of resource intensive and it's kind of silly because SQLite, like most databases, has a command that you can just delete everything in the table. And that's the drop table command. And it's pretty much the same for almost any database. MySQL, Postgres, SQLite 3, they always have the ability to drop a table. And that's what it's called in database language, to drop the table. We're not deleting a table, we're, we're dropping it from the database, right? And that's no big deal because when this program starts, if we come up here to the beginning, remember way back at the beginning of this little series, we, we did this create table if not exists. So if we delete our table, if we drop our table and then run the program again, it will recreate the table. There won't be any data in it, but the table itself will be recreated. So we don't have to like recreate the table after we drop it because of this. So to delete everything in the table, we just drop the table. And then the next time the program runs, it recreates the table. If we want to then add new things to the table after that, we can do that. So let's come back down here. And let's find that remove one, remove many, remove all. Okay, so here's our function. 
So how do we drop everything from the table? Well, we use our cursor c.execute like we always do, right? And the SQL command is just drop table and then name the table. And our table is called customers. And that's it. That's all there is to it. This will completely drop the table. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's run it, see if this worked. So python treebase.py. Head over here, I'm gonna click one of these for good measure just so this box is filled. And remove all records, boom. Okay, it deleted these boxes. It removed everything from our table. Now if we close this and we open it back up again, we see that in fact, yep, everything has been deleted. And we can add a new record if we want. John Elder, uh, 123 Elder Way, Elderton. Nevada, <laughs> 89137. We can add a record and then boom, there it is. And we can just create another one, whatever. And there's the other one, right? And again, we can remove all these records too. Boom, and it still works. So, okay, that seems to work. Now I clicked on something else and uh, we're getting an error here. We don't really care about that right now. So, okay, let's head back over to our little explorer guy here. And I'm gonna delete this and rename this guy back to what our database originally was. And I'm gonna copy this again and paste in another backup. So, okay, so now if we come back here and run this guy again, we've got our database back. Okay, so that worked, but I'm not real happy about this because when we click this button, it just deletes everything. We need a pop-up box that pops up and says, wait a second, are you sure you wanna delete these things? Because this is a big thing deleting everything from the database. We need some safeguards in place here. So let's do a little message box. Remember in the last video, we created a little message box. Let's come down here to the, or let's come up here to the remove one function that we worked on in the last video. And here's a little message box. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this guy. Let's come down here to our remove all. And let's put this very first thing. Now, instead of show info, let's ask yes, no. And this will, pop up a little box that says yes or no with two buttons on it that say yes or no. So we can say, wait a second, are you sure you want to delete yes or no? And then we could do something based on that. We'll look at that in just a second. So let's change this to, whoa, <laughs> this will delete everything from the table. And let's put a line break. Are you sure? So let's go ahead and save this. Now, in order to do this, ask yes, no, let's put this in a variable. So let's go response equals ask yes, no. So now we can take this variable and we can run some logic on it. So we can go, let's say uh, add logic for message box. So let's go if response equals one. So if you click yes, it will return one, just the number one. If you click no, it will return zero. So let's say if it returns one, that means yes, we're ready to delete everything. So let's just move all of this inside. So I just tabbed it in. So now uh, let's say uh, clear the tree view, connect to the database, do the stuff, delete the table, drop the table, commit the changes, close the connection, clear the entry box. We don't really need an else. An else. We could go else, you know, do something, but there's nothing else we want to do. If they click no on the message box, that means they don't want to proceed. So we'll just let it die. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Let's run this one more time, see if that worked. So remove all records. Whoa, <laughs> this will delete everything from the table. Are you sure? No. All right, it just sort of died. Nothing happened, which is what we want. Remove all records. Whoa, <laughs> click yes, boom, it deletes everything. So, okay, so that's how you delete everything from a table, you drop the table. And again, like I said, we can close this thing and open it back up again. And when we do, I'm up here to the top here, this thing will get executed and this will get created. Now we could get fancy and put this into a function and then call that function down here when we delete everything, just so that it recreates the table in case at that time we want to uh, add a little something because like right now, let's come back here. Let's delete this, let's rename this. There we go. And let's copy this guy and paste it in to back it up one more time. 
And now let's run this. So we've got everything. Let's remove all. Yes. Now, if we want to add something, we get an error. Why? Because the table doesn't exist. We can't add something to the table because it doesn't exist. Now, if we close this and run it again, it will recreate that table. But right now, that table doesn't exist. So what we can do just very quickly is head back over here. And let's just come up here and just copy all of this stuff. And let's just come down here. And let's just create a function. So let's go define, uh, let's say create table again, whatever. And let's paste all that stuff in there. So we need to have all this over. Okay. And we can get rid of this, clean this up a little bit. Okay, so now we can call this create table again function when we delete everything. So let's come up here to our remove all. And then down here, after we've cleared the entries, let's recreate the table. So we could just call that, right? So now if we save this, head back over here, run this again, redo our database. Here we go, we've got it. Now, if we remove all records, yes. Now we can add another record. And we can do that again because we've recreated that table. So that is probably something you want to do as well. So that's pretty much it. Dropping tables, very easy, not much to it. One little, one very simple SQL command. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDS of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.